Hey guys, so quick video. Uh, here's my stats. I started in February 2015 at 256 pounds. I lost 20 pounds before surgery, so 236 pounds May 12th, 2015, and today is June 23rd, 2015, and I am six weeks out and 50 pounds total down. So that is super exciting. Um, I wanted to share some non-surgical victories or NSVs if you're on boards and, and haven't heard that term yet. The first, since I'm sitting in my car, it kind of makes sense, is my seat belt no longer jams up on me. Um, it fits normal and I don't have to constantly be rebuckling my seat belt. Um, another one, I went to the movies and I put both arms down in the chair and I had some extra room. That felt really nice. Um, another great victory is my pants size. I was in a 20 or a 22 and those absolutely fall right off when I'm in them. Um, they, they need a belt and it's, and you know, it's pretty tight uh, in order to keep them up. So I'm in a size 18 and they fit totally comfortable. You know, I'm breathing them fine. I'm not squishing into them. Um, and that's really, really cool. I definitely have a neck now. And you'll see in the other videos, it looks like I'm drugged. Um, and of course, in the beginning I was, but um, a lot of that was because you couldn't see my eyes. I carried a lot of weight in in my face and that is definitely slimmed down. Um, and so now when I take pictures, I uh, can see my eyes again and that's kind of cool. I know that there's more to go and they're still a little small, but you know, it's nice to be able to see them. Um, I definitely take pictures because when I look in the mirror, I don't always see the weight loss. I still see myself at 250 pounds, which is pretty normal. I was at that weight for a good 10, good 10, 12 years. So um, I'm currently at my high school graduation weight, which is pretty cool. And uh, the pictures help me compare side by side and see the, de the definite difference. Um, I'm not shy about the weight loss. I used to think that I wasn't going to tell people about surgery because there's all of the um, preconceptions and um, people's thoughts on that. I didn't really want to hear that, but I decided, you know, come out of the closet with it. I'm excited about it. I'm proud of what I'm doing. It's, um, it's definitely not the easy road and I... I, I don't want to hide it. So I post on Facebook. Everyone on it is uh, very supportive. And that's a really good way that I can reach out and get support. Um, so that that's really great that everyone is, is really happy, just like I am. And it's not that, um, you know, I'm more beautiful as I'm dropping weight, but that they're congratulating me on the victories and the things I want to be doing, being pain-free and... Being more active with the kids is definitely the reason why I'm doing this. So being able to share those victories is is really great. And I only keep friends on there that are, are really close. So, um, you know, that's kind of nice. And let's see. On top of the photos, side-by-side -side comparisons, I also measure. So I measure my bust, my waist, my hips, my upper thighs, and the large part of my arms. And that's for, that's for one really good reason. There will be stalls. I stalled in week three, like most people stall in week three or four. Um, it lasted about five days and it was kind of my initial like, whoa, wait a second. And I had forgotten that people stall. But the cool thing is I went and measured and I had lost like 12 inches overall. And that's a big, that's a big success. Um, now I'm lost about 18 inches, which is pretty cool. So I get to see numbers in both ways and I would highly suggest doing that. You can do it by yourself. Um, just make sure you're measuring in the same spot and then don't pull the tape measure tight because then you won't see the difference. You know, make sure it's, it's loose around the areas and you're always measuring the same spot. Um, so yeah, 50 pounds down and 50 more to go, maybe 60, depending on how I feel, but really 150 is, is my ultimate goal. Um, if you want to put goals in numbers, so there are some definite things I'm looking forward to some goals, hitting some non-surgical victories, um, coming up and I look forward to sharing them with you. I hope everyone's doing good and we'll talk later.